Hi everybody, it's been a minute, so how's everyone doing? I hope you're all good. Um, uh, let's see, it's been a few weeks I think since I made my last video <clears throat> and um, I just wanted to kind of keep you posted on how things are. So a few weeks ago I went to the oncologist and um, I was supposed to do chemo that day and basically she checked my blood cells and white blood cells and she said that she couldn't give me chemo that day, they were too low and that basically um, I would have to take shots to try to boost them up and hopefully it'd be fine. It was fine after I did the shots but um, I just thought, wow, that's a shock, you know. Um, I didn't even consider the fact that my blood cells wouldn't be high enough for chemo for treatment, you know, so kind of a trip. But um, I'm doing all right now. I actually had my first chemo, or sorry, my I started my fifth cycle. So, um, so basically, um, normally when I go there, I just kind of sit. Maybe I try to read or whatever. But um, this time, I decided to take my homework since the chemo days are about like four hours in the chair. So basically, what I did is put my earplugs in and I just uh, watched some lectures and took notes and got ready for my statistics class. Um, and so I wasn't really paying attention to the nurses, um, what they were doing anyway. Um, and so I don't know if it affected me differently, but this week I actually felt really good. Um, so kind of crazy. I, I never got sick from the chemo at all. And by sick, I mean kind of nauseous, not feeling well. I, I actually am very lucky. I haven't, I haven't vomited at all. So thankfully, um, I haven't had that experience. I'm sure you don't like to barf, but I really don't like to puke. Um, and so um, now today, I actually went to Silverdale and had to do a, a CT scan. And so I did that. So I should be hearing back. By the time you read, uh, see this, I'll probably have the results. So, um, so really hoping that uh, my the nodules in my lungs are going to be shrinking. So, <clears throat> sorry for my voice, you guys. I <laughs> I hit um, I hit a joint a couple times outside. So, um, and now I'm all dry and hoarse, but whatever. Um, so. I wanted to share something else with you guys too that's pretty pretty cool um you know i talk a lot about relationships on here too i mean of course i talk about my my cancer journey and all that but you know hopefully you you notice like at the end of my video you'll have some kind of a little <laughs> tidbit of wisdom or whatever i think i could share with the world but um you know this this time has been really touching because, um, you know, I, um, I, you know, Lalo and I broke up, um, I think Valentine's day and I didn't even really tell you guys this, but like within 24 hours, he was already on all the dating apps and the hookup apps. And that really kind of, it really it took a toll on my, you know, self-esteem because couldn't even wait 24 hours which I thought was kind of a douchey thing to do you know but everyone's different I guess so um anyway um so I um now what is it today the 8th of April um basically um I started putting myself out there uh, um, again for you know hanging out with people meeting new people maybe going on some dates and um you know it was really scary the idea of breaking up because i feel like um you know there's always that in the back of our minds that kind of piece of self-doubt that basically it's going to be very difficult or impossible to find somebody that will appreciate you and love you and treat you nice and be your boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever 
And so there's always that nagging kind of thought like, oh, you know, if, if this is over, like, oh gosh, you know, who's going to want me or, you know, oh, I have to get into the dating thing again or whatever. <clears throat> well, I always, ha I do have to say that, you know, I will always, if a relationship isn't going how I feel it should or if it's not going great, I'm going to end it because I'm not that afraid of being alone. I'm not afraid of being alone. I've been by myself for years, you know. Um, Lalo and I dated for six months, which was a good chunk, but not too long. Um, but prior to that, I mean, I had been single for probably almost five years, I suppose, yeah. So anyway, I go out, put myself out there, and started chatting with um, this person who was really respectful, really nice. Um, you know, I don't know if you've ever online dated, but some of the shit you hear people say, and not even just hear them say, it's like the first thing they say, you know. You know, it's just like, oh, uh, well, I don't want to get too graphic of some of the stuff I've heard, but like, basically, let's hook up rather than try to be friends. And that's not normally like something that I want to do. Like, okay, everyone has a past. I'm not a freaking angel, but that's not the kind of life I want, um, you know. So anyway, started chatting with this guy. He was super nice. Um, we actually went on a couple of dates. I think this is our or a third date a couple nights ago um super kind person and it just dawned on me that like i like him but he likes me back you know and i i jokingly said something on my valentine's day video like hey uh, if you know somebody who wants uh, someone with stage four cancer and no left hand let me know like and you know what I, I'm sorry, but that that was not right of me to say that. Like, I know that our culture, especially for for women, you know, they can't show that they're, you know, confident and strong. Like, they always have to have this self-deprecating fucking attitude all the time, you know? Like, oh, I'm, a, I'm so ugly, no one will love me, or blah, blah, blah. That's, that's stupid shit, you know? And so basically, um, it was just... It's just a trip because, you know, I I said that before about myself and I know I know I'm a good looking person and I'm a good person too, so I mean and I have like so, pretty healthy self esteem, but like everybody still finds something they don't like about themselves and so basically <clears throat> I did let that creep into the back of my mind thinking like, Okay, I'm single and I've got these things going on and probably no one's going to want to go on dates with me, you know? And so, and not that that's my main goal in life, it's really not, but it's still a big part. I mean, we're all human, right? We like to feel like we're beautiful. And so basically, um, you know, when I went on this, uh, this date and I thought like, hey, you know, if, even if he's just a cool dude and grab some wine, that's cool. Or maybe we go on hikes or whatever, like, great. But I really, you know, like my text this morning, he wrote like, good morning, handsome. And it's just like, you know, there's days I don't feel handsome at all. <laughs> you know, I look at my hair and actually it's, it is growing back. But I think like, man, I really wish I had that hair and that beard. I look pretty good. I definitely looked, you know, fitter too with, with uh, more fit, fitter, whatever, um, with a beard. But you know, that's the thing. It's like these little things that kind of creep into our mind because that's our society's way of like, you know, we can't be, we can't say that we're beautiful or anything like that. So basically, um, not that I need it from an outside source, but I mean, it is nice that, you know, people think that you're attractive. So anyway, um, I'm kind of rambling now, but I just wanted to say like, you know, if you're in any situation, a bad situation or something where you're not happy, end it and find somewhere that you are happy or just be happy with yourself. 
um, honestly, don't be afraid that no one will love you or like you or think you're pretty or cute, you know? I mean, this isn't trying to sound mean, but, like, do you ever go in public and you find, like, super funky, ugly person and then they have a freaking partner or boyfriend or girlfriend and you're like, damn, well, how come I can't have that, you know? Because guess what? We we find each other. We, you know, we all basically... Um, when we put ourselves out there and try to be our best self, you know, we'll attract something good if we're putting the good out there. But anyway, um, I'm doing good. You're going to have a health update soon, I'm sure. And um, love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. See you soon.